Hello and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called Ether Channels. Ether Channels are one way of combining several physical links between switches into one logical connection. Normally, banner tree blocks redundant links. Ether Channels get around that and enable load balancing across these links. Traffic is balanced between the channel links on the basis of such things as source and destination MAC addresses or IP addresses. The Ether Channel Load Balancing Method is configured at the Global Configuration Mode. Here we see five modes that an Ether Channel can have. The On Mode creates port channels without negotiation. The port on the other side must also be set to on. The auto mode responds to pack P negotiations but does not initiate them. It creates port channels only if the switch on the other side is set to desirable mode. This is the default mode of the switch. The desirable mode has the port actively negotiate pack P with the other connected switch. It creates a port channel if the other side is set to auto or desirable. The passive mode responds to lack P negotiations but does not initiate them. It creates port channels only if the other switch is set to active. The active mode has the port actively negotiate lack P with the other connected switch. It creates a port channel if the other side is set to passive or active. The channel group command is used to create the ether channel and to decide which mode will be used. The port channel low balance command is used to decide which method will be used for load balancing. In the picture below, we can view two switches connected by an Ethernet link. When choosing the method for load balancing, it is important to consider the range of IP addresses or MAC addresses that you will be using. The Ethernet line used to connect the switches is based upon a hash value that is computed from these factors. So if you have a network with 50 computers on the left and one server on the right, it would be better to load balance using the 50 computer MAC addresses rather than the one computer MAC address. This is because the single server hash value will compute only to one value if you're using the one MAC address or IP address of the server and so only one Ethernet line that connects the two switches will be used to transfer information but if you choose a hash value computed from the 50 clients this is more likely to be a more random distribution of numbers so it's more likely that all the Ethernet interfaces will be used in the simulation below, there are two switches connected by four Ethernet cables. Notice that spanning tree has blocked three of the four connections on switch two. This is shown by the amber link lights. This is to prevent switching loops. We are looking at the terminal window of switch one. It is very important that we put the interfaces connecting the two switches into trunking mode else the switches will only forward information from the VLAN that they are in. We will also create the ether channel with the channel group command.
Now we're looking at the terminal window of switch 2. Let's configure the second switch the same way. When we use the channel group command, all the lights turn red because the switches are negotiating the PAG P mode. The ether channel is created when all the link lights are green. Ether channel has prevented the need for the switches to block their interfaces. We have looked at an effective technique which allows multiple trunk lines to connect two switches together without having the need for spanning tree to block any of the interfaces. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.